In this video, we're going to replace the battery of this Razer 13 inch laptop with one from Amazon. So this laptop has a bulging battery problem. The battery health is low and you can see here that the case doesn't close properly anymore because there's too much of a bulge on the battery side. It's pushing up into the top case and preventing it from closing properly. So to do this job we need a couple of screwdrivers. We need a T5 Torx and a Phillips double zero. So I got this battery off of Amazon. Um, you can get them off Amazon. I don't know that this is actually new. It says it's new but when I opened it I found that it's already been torn open from the corner of the bag, so all of these batteries are kind of sketched, so your mileage may vary. As far as I can tell, Razer doesn't actually sell original OEM parts for this to replace this anymore, so you have to go with one of these sketchy batteries off of Amazon or eBay. Anyway, this battery uh, looks like it's going to fit. Uh, it's not swollen at all, which is a good sign. I have no way to really test the voltage. I don't know what pins are, are on there. To get started with this, we need to disassemble the bottom. And it's fairly straightforward. We're going to remove the Torx screws all around the edge. And then once we do that, we're going to slide the cover plate uh, towards us, away from the hinge. Probably a good idea to make sure that the laptop is actually off when you do this. And in this case I'm going to apply pressure on the back plate as I take the screws off because I don't want the back plate and the bulging battery to pop any of the screws out. That would be very bad. So we have to kind of apply pressure on the back plate as we go. All right, all the screws are out. And you can see here, the battery is basically pushing the plate right off. I don't even have to do anything. So, we just kind of pull it away from the hinge. There are kind of clips along the back side here that clip in along the hinge. So with that out of the way, you can see our swollen battery. It's quite pronounced the swelling on this. So there are a couple bits of tape that need to be removed. And then just looking at, ref at, at the new battery for reference, we can tell that there's a plate here that needs to be removed as well in order to connect our battery. So first I'm going to take the tape away from the old battery. I'll just pull it up and then I'll push it down when the new battery's in. It looks like the battery connector cover is actually a triple zero. So you will need a Phillips triple zero bit to get the little connector off. I'm just using the, the tip, triple zero tip to loosen these screws. Move that out of the way. So now I'm going to remove the battery screws. 
And if you're curious, again, you can look at the new battery for reference as to which places you're going to need to unscrew. And I find I have to apply a little bit of pressure on the screwdriver to get it, to make sure that it, it bites on the screw. Maybe I'll just lift the battery first and see if it wants to, to pull the battery connector off. Oh, there it goes. Okay, perfect. Didn't need to do any prying. You just lift the battery up, pull it towards the hinge, and the connection will pop off. And yeah, you can see this battery is in pretty rough shape. So before I put the new battery in, a couple of things I want to do. I just want to check if the machine now closes properly. And you can see here that it does now close properly. So that tells me that I don't have to actually bend the top plate down. I think it'll be okay once I put the, the new battery in. Kind of a little bit dusty in here. I, if I had compressed air, I would probably blow that out. But I don't, so. Now I'm going to put the new battery in. And as I do that, I'm going to be careful not to connect that until the end. You don't want to over tighten these, just tighten them enough so that they hold it in. The bottom plate will keep everything together. The screws are just really meant to keep things from rattling around. Okay, everything is screwed down. I'm going to push that connector down onto the board. Try and make sure it's seated all the way. And it is. Okay. Now before I screw the plate down for that, I want to make sure that the laptop actually powers up. Uh, I guess I might need to plug it in first. Maybe the battery is dead. Taking power, try not to touch the underside. Okay, it booted, so that's fine for now. I'm just going to shut it off again and put everything back together. So for this plate, I'm just going to put the screws in it and then set it down. I'm not actually sure if it's going to go because it seems kind of proud compared to how the old one was, but we'll give it a little push. I'm going to remove this battery connector cover and just leave it out. This ribbon is quite a bit thicker. It's like got rubber already on top of it, so perhaps it's not necessary for this. So. We're just going to put things back together. So again, for reassembly, we need to push the hinge side in first because there are clips. And we want to make sure that we close the seam at the back on both sides of the screen hinge. So I have it on the right side, but not on the left. There we go. That's in on both sides. Perfect. So because there's that hinge there, I'm going to start from the back and work to the front, just so I can make sure that, that those hinge tabs are secured before I secure the front. So after I finish assembling, after I finish screwing in 
all these screws. I'm actually going to take apart the old battery and give you a look at the cells inside in case you actually want to rebuild it. Because these replacement batteries may not be available forever and you may want to build your own battery in the future. So that's the assembly done. So it's pulling a charge. So I'm going to let that charge up for a while. And then I'm going to see if it boots. In the meantime, let's take a look at, since this is basically coming apart on its own because it's so bulged, let's take a look at the individual cells. You want to know the voltage of this battery. The voltage is 11.55 volts. The capacity, the rated capacity is 4640 milliamp hours or 53.6 watt hours. The limited charge voltage is 13.2. And I'm not sure. So the labeling on this cell is CSL three seven nine two eight zero, and it looks like there are three of these. So I'll just bring that up so you can take a close look at it. But there are three of these connected to a circuit board. And you can see here the positive and negative terminals of each on the circuit board. So if you wanted to rebuild your battery, you just have to figure out what these cells are and replace them. It looks like the, the casing is, is pretty reusable. It's just the, the batteries connected to the board and then some tape on one side and there's a metal plastic frame around the battery. So you could totally rebuild these if you could find some cells that don't bulge up like that. It's now been a couple of months since I installed the battery and this laptop has been working perfectly. The runtime is now around three and a half, four hours, which I think is close to what it was original. And standby on suspend is a couple of days. So I'm really happy with this. This is a really easy fix that you can make to this laptop if you have it. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, take it easy.